This is the Lobo Mustang Multi-Shot PCP Leave Action Cowboy Rifle. The short version is yum, yum, yum. The slightly longer version is it's made completely out of wood and metal. It's ambidextrous in that the Leave Action works perfectly well from both sides. However, the magazines can only go in from the right hand side. It is roughly 3.1 kilograms or 6.8 pounds with the scope on. It's 97 centimeters or 38 inches long. It is very slim and comfortable in the hands. It does not come with sights, but there's a dovetail rail and I've mounted this 4x32 Walter scope, which I think just fits the part rather well. There's a half inch UNF thread at the end uh, for a silencer, but notice that this is actually the barrel. This is the air cylinder. This goes up to 300 bar or roughly 4,300 PSI. And when looking for silencer, it's important to note that because the thread ends here, many silencers won't actually fit in the gap here. I was initially looking for a Diana P1000 silencer because that has a little extendy bit. But seeing as I got this just as COVID was first breaking, I had to design and 3D print my own. Now admittedly, this is a bit beefy, but um, the gun is 108 decibels without a silencer. And with this, it's 96 decibels. So at least it works. The trigger is incredibly crisp and single stage. The lever action is so smooth and easy to cock and also acts as a, a safety. Unless this is fully closed, the gun will not go off. Uh, the magazines, they are not pillar fussy. They're quite deep, so they can do flathead pointed. The gun is not pillar fussy either. And while the gun came with two uh, magazines, should you want more, I found that these Artemis ones are fully compatible. Now, before I gush about the, the company and the customer support and just everything around this, let's see how it shoots. All right, so you can see that it's pretty accurate, even with my excitement flyer. And every time I'm filming, filming myself, I get an excitement flyer. Off camera, I can put 11 shots through the same hole, but hey, so be it. Um, this is 14 millimeters across, or roughly half an inch, even with my flyer. And these are the plans that come in the box. And just the way it's packed and just everything about it just conveys the sense of pride that they have in their gun. Now, this is going to sound like a sponsored segment. It isn't. It's just me gushing because... Whenever I mail uh, shops in Europe going, hey, could you please decrease it to my legal 10 joule limit? They go, sorry, no, we can't do it, which, you know, fair enough. But then I mail these massive manufacturers saying, hey, I really like your gun. Is there any way that I could, it's even going to be sold in Europe? They go, lols, I don't know, contact someone local. So I have to find who that local person is and they mail them and they go, eh, no idea. But when I mailed uh, Lobo, they went, yeah, sure, we'll make you a 10 joule version. And then the first wave of COVID hit when it was still terrifying and no one knew what was going on. And they still sent it to me and they, they mailed me updates constantly telling me where it was. Then they sent me some uh, tutorial videos via WhatsApp about uh, magazine maintenance and adjusting the hammer spring. And I sent them a picture of my ridiculous silencer and they were even nice enough to say, good job, buddy. Um, and then they told me that they're actually making their own silencer for this, so that's coming sometime. So yeah, just, just what a difference dealing with them. So Lobo, I love you guys. Um, as for the rifle, well, it's clear that I love this very much. Um, this was originally going to be a series of me building up to this rifle, because I may have two, three, four, five, six, seven, so maybe seven lever action uh, cowboy rifles, which I was just going through trying to find the perfect one. And this is just it it's it's gorgeous it, the, the the action is so satisfying um the only only quibble i have is the magazine uh, when you put the pellets in uh, dr you drop them face first you just have to nudge their butts with a, a screwdriver or a pencil just to seat them properly now, i guess it's the price you pay for having a nice deep one for putting whatever pellet you want but eh, that's it so yeah it's awesome i hope you are 
and just be kind to each other.